welcome back to my channel it's Simia C and I'm back with another video in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you my current skincare routine and the products that I've currently been using um, the products that I use now in my skincare routine is the Inculus I've really been enjoying these products I've been using them since I want to say last year November and I feel like they've really been helping me with my skin problems especially in my jawline and my forehead area where I tend to have the most acne um, the first product that I use from their range is going to be their salicylic acid cleanser. Um, this cleanser can be used in the day and the night. And what I really like about the Inkiness products is that on the back, they tell you it's like a guide that tells you how to use your products, which is how to layer them correctly. And I guess it makes their products a little bit more effective. Um, I really think this is good. And I feel like all products should do that, like basically give you a breakdown on how to use them. Cause a lot of people are really new to skincare and don't really know or understand how to use them correctly. And then you can be applying all of these different acids to your skin and just ruining your skin. And people don't even realize. So I would definitely recommend if you're new to skincare and you just don't to have like skincare problems, maybe check out um, this brand, the Inky List, first, just to give yourself a foundation of how to layer products. So the second product in their regimen, or in my regimen anyway, but it should be in everyone's regimen, is hyaluronic acid. So this is the actual um, icon duo. Um, in this product, it has hyaluronic acid as well as an eye cream. Um, I did have the hyaluronic acid on its own before, but this is how the boxes come, like their packaging. So it also tells you in store before you purchase them how to layer the products as well. So you can like formulate your own um, skincare routine because they have a lot of different products in their range. You don't have to just use the ones that I use. But yeah, this is the Hyaluronic Acid Serum. Um, what I don't like about this one is the fact that it's so small and I feel like it runs out so quickly, but you don't need a lot of this at all. All you need is probably like less than a dime size amount. It's a very watery solution. So like if you shake it, you can hear that it's watery. Um, so you just use this at first and this helps to hydrate your skin prior to adding on your moisturizers, your eye creams, etc. and helps them to absorb into your skin a lot better than just applying a moisturizer and it just being layered on top of your skin without having anything to really help the um, product to absorb into your skin. So let's discuss the eye cream. So I got this caffeine eye cream and it says that it reduces puffiness and dark circles. I've been using it and I it really piqued my interest because I was having like I guess dark marks right here in these areas I'm still new to using this product um, since I just got it like about a week ago uh, I guess you could say I'm on my fourth use so I guess towards the end I can, I, I can give you sorry I can't even talk I guess towards the end I can give you guys an update on how I feel this worked for myself if you want that you can leave that down in the comments and then I'll do a video based on my review of this product. Next in the in the regimen or my specific regimen that I've created for myself is moisturizer. I currently own three of the um, Inkyless moisturizers. So the first one that I have is the vitamin A. Sorry, it's not. It's vitamin B, C, and E moisturizer. And this is just to maintain healthy skin. It's like all of the vitamins and I guess minerals you'll need to continue having good skin. So I use this. And this is a day as well as night um, moisturizer that you can use. And it just says helps to maintain skin health. Um, the second one I have is this peptide moisturizer and I got this because it's anti-aging and it's like I'm in my 30s now I just turned 30 so everybody needs some sort of anti-aging in their skin routine so this is mine um, I think this was the second moisturizer I tried from them I actually really like this one it's almost running out um, so yeah then I have the Simbright Moisturizer and this helps, helps to brighten your skin. This one specifically I got because I wanted to see if it was going to help to lighten up some of my dark marks. I would say yes, it has helped, but I feel like it's one of those things where you have to keep using it with time and then it'll get better eventually. So after you use your Hyaluronic Acid Serum, you want to treat your skin. So I would say the eye cream as well as your... Um, turners would be in the treat step of your regimen or your routine 
So the ones that I've used for in, in terms of tuners from their brand was the glycolic acid tuner as well as this one. Glycolic acid can be very, very strong. So I decided to take a little break from using glycolic acid. Plus it also makes your skin very sensitive to the sun. So I would only recommend to use that one at night. And I believe they tell you to only use that one at night as well. But recently I've gotten this PHA tuner. I haven't used it as yet, but this one is supposed to be for more sensitive skin types. And I think it also helps to um, like sour turnover on your skin as well. So I'm gonna try this PHA tuner. Um, on the back it says a gentle exfoliating tuner. So yeah, it removes dead skin cells and the surface layer of your skin. So it um, helps to lock in moisture basically for sensitive skin. And this one they say you can use AM and PM, but I would also recommend using SPF, which is this one i also have their spf this is spf 30 sunscreen mineral uv filter broad spectrum sunscreen so i use this one and this is the last step of course of your regimen so you'll use this after your moisturizer so that's pretty much my skincare routine um for day and night to be honest but i as i said on before on the back it tells you which products are for day and which products are for night. And like I said, I don't always use every single one of these products every day, but the ones that are in my daily routine would be the salicylic acid cleanser, the hyaluronic acid, as well as the moisturizer. And that goes for day and night. And sometimes, you know, your skin needs something extra. So that's when you can go ahead and add in your toner if you feel like, okay, you're starting to have breakouts or you're starting to see your pores are looking a little clogged. Cause I tend to have like little bumps on my skin where I could tell like, okay, my skin's starting to get clogged and that's when I feel like, okay, I need a toner. Also, I feel like my skin is combination. So some days it will be too oily where I feel I don't need to um, apply moisturizer. So it's really, really up to you and how you you want to do your skincare routine and what ultimately works best for you but like i said these products have been really really working well for me another product that i've added into my skincare routine is kojic acid soap i'm currently using a local brand of kojic acid soap i'm gonna show you guys that one second i chose to use this brand of kojic acid soap because it's a local brand and i feel like the ingredients are a lot more natural versus having a lot of additives from brands that you can probably probably get on amazon etc and then it's also nice to just support local um, people in your community and this one is from mku creations i will put her instagram at here for you guys to have a look at if you want to go and see some of her products because she does make um scented shea butters and oils and i've tried her vanilla bean or body oil as well as shea butter and they smell really really good i got the small one and like they went super quick i ended up losing the oil i think someone took it because it smelled so good but yeah her products are really really nice so i would definitely recommend to go and check her out I want to thank you guys for tuning into my channel today and listening to, I guess, my information on the products that I use and why I use them. And I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. If you like this video today, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in the next video.